And I'm gonna start with one of my absolute favorites, simple pork spare ribs. Now I got my butcher to just cut these down to little bite-sized nuggets. Now you can see these range between one and two inches in size, and they've all got an individual little bone, so it's just perfect little finger food. Now, I did grow up in a house where my parents were cooking a lot of different types of food. And my father dabbled a lot with Chinese food. He took a few cooking classes, and the next thing I know, the cabinet next to the kitchen was filled with all sorts of elixirs, soy sauces, vinegars, and exciting new ingredients I had never seen before. And this was one of my absolute favorites. It's the simple combination of two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, four tablespoons of dark soy sauce, and dark soy sauce is aged, so it has a little bit of a deeper flavor, almost like a fortified wine, and six tablespoons of cider vinegar. Now, of course, just a pinch of sugar to counteract all that acidity and to kind of bring it all together, two-thirds of a cup of water. I just pour that over there. And you'll see when you add the water that you've started a process of imparting flavor to these spare ribs with a few ingredients. Put them in the pot, cover it, and bring it to a gentle simmer over low heat. And I don't like to cover things in the kitchen because I like to look, and I know that when I lift the cloth in a little while, the dove is gonna fly out. That's this kind of recipe. And let's have a look at our spare ribs because they've been cooking for quite some time. They smell fantastic, and we haven't even finished them. At this point, I see that they're cooked. You can see the meat coming apart from the bone there. That's a really good indicator that you're on the right track. Take the spare ribs out, and you can see this lovely sauce with this amazing smell. But I'm gonna reduce that sauce a little bit. Just for a few minutes, turn the heat up high. And just let this reduce down so it gets glazy. To finish this sauce for the spare ribs that I've reduced, I'll add two scant tablespoons of honey. And I just let this simmer together for one minute. And you can see when you add the honey in, it just changes the whole texture. The sauce froths up and says, I am ready to coat your spare ribs. Grab a big ladle full and just pour it right over those ribs. And you can see right away how shiny this sauce makes the ribs. It's like a new coat of paint on an old car. Now, this is not elegant party food. Be prepared to dig in and get lost with wild abandon in these wonderful flavors. Mm. Wow. It tastes like the flavors of this sauce have soaked all the way through to the bones. The smell of that spare rib sauce, it's intoxicating. It really fills the whole kitchen. And it makes me think of having an ice cold beer with this. That sound, that says let's eat spare ribs. Cheers.